I'm Roy Morris Jr. and I'm the author of Lighting Out for the Territory, How Samuel Clemens Headed West and Became Mark Twain. Uh, this book uh, took me about three years to write and it combined two of my great interests which are Civil War history and uh, American literature. Now, Mark Twain uh, is probably the most famous writer of the period but he certainly wasn't uh, the one who served the most time during the Civil War. In fact, Mark Twain served about three weeks in the Civil War as a, as a member of the Marion Rangers, which was a, uh, a Confederate cavalry unit out of his hometown of Hannibal, Missouri. Uh, Twain decided very early that he wasn't cut out for war, and when his older brother Orion uh, was offered the chance to go to Nevada Territory as secretary to the territorial governor, Mark Twain went along they spent about three weeks riding in a stagecoach to Carson City where Mark Twain decided he would be a miner. He thought he might just as well become a millionaire. He, he was unsuccessful at that, uh, but he was successful in getting a job at the Virginia City Territorial Enterprise where he became a writer and really invented his, uh, his famous name, Mark Twain. Uh, he got the idea from, from his uh, a good friend on the Territorial Enterprise who was uh, a writer named William Wright who went by the pen name of Dandy Quill. So Mark Twain uh, got his start on the Territorial Enterprise. He worked there for two years until uh, he was challenged to a duel by a rival editor uh, and he decided he didn't want to fight a duel so he went to San Francisco where he became uh, a reporter for the San Francisco Morning Call he decided he didn't want to do that either. He said it was awful slavery for a lazy man. Uh, so he went to Hawaii. Uh, spent several months of what he called luxurious vagrancy in Hawaii before he returned and gave his first uh, his first public lecture uh, called uh, Our Fellow Savages of the Sandwich Islands. From that day forth, he he said he had discovered a new uh, a new way to make money, and from that. From, from really his first public lecture, he said he never had to earn an honest day's living in his life. So my book, Lighting Out for the Territory, covers the six-year period that Samuel Clemens spent out west in Nevada, uh, California, and Hawaii, and, and when he really literally and figuratively became Mark Twain.